I don't know how big an inch is. Um, hi everybody, my name is Slow. I am a Twitch streamer and gamer, and I am unboxing my Elite Series 2 Color Labs Xbox controller today. Um, and I will be comparing it to my um, other Xbox Color Labs controller, which is just the base model. And yeah, let's get right into it because I'm very excited to open this. First of all, the packaging is really cool. I can't remember what the packaging was for the other version, but it's like holographic. And it didn't come just in this, it came in this box. This was inside of this box, a box inside a box. I also ordered some accessories, um, which I'll get into later, but this is what that looks like. I didn't order the charger base because it's just a black base and I don't really like that. I wish that they allowed you to customize the color of the charger base for okay so I just pulled it off okay she's so cute so obviously I got pink <laughs> different shades of pink I'll do some b-roll or something of the up close of the controller but if you, I feel like this could be pretty easy to miss. I feel like this is not great box design, but you pull this off and, oh, behind it is this, which I don't think my other one had this or I just missed it. <laughs> and threw it away, sorry, and threw it away. Yeah, it's just a USB-C, looks nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice cord though, braided. Some manuals, this, which I don't know what this is for. It's cute, it's like, probably for switching out the d-pad I'll show my previous version as well and they've expanded the color options for the previous version before they didn't have this light light pink um, they only had this retro pink which is kind of Pepto-Bismol-y but um, but this one you had more color options for the buttons, like my buttons are pink, which I think is really cute and cohesive. You could customize the circle around the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks are, oh, <laughs> interchangeable. There you go, I guess. And the D-pad's interchangeable. I don't know if this was, yeah, for this one, you have to get like a full circle. For the older version. The base price of this one is of the Elite 2 is $150 US dollars and the base for this one is 70 US dollars so it's a pretty significant difference. The rubberized grips are really nice which I know is an add-on that you can get for the the base model. So for the Elite controller, the rubberized grips go all the way across the front as well. And if you opt in for the rubberized grips for this one, all you can get is rubberized grip here and here. And then it stops right here. So it doesn't cover the front at all, which you may prefer. Um, but this one's all the way around, which feels really nice at this, on this part of your hand. I've never played with rubberized grips, so how many times can I say rubberized grips in this video? 
let's unbox the add-ons. These are the some thumbsticks and D-pad pack. And you could pick the colors of these, which I thought was nice. Yeah, so this is this is actually pretty cool. These are different thumbsticks, and I've not played around with different thumbsticks before. And then it also comes with the D-pad of your choosing, which I just chose the one that I didn't get on this. I've never used this kind of D-pad. Um, I think I, I think I like this one more because it's more precise. Like this one, you could be pressing two at once, which maybe that's what you want. Also, okay, this one has a dot right here in the middle, and then it has three lines down here. I don't know what those are for. I'll look at the manual. Oh, wait. Oh, the back is completely different. Okay, so there's not even an option for a battery in this one. Like, there's not, you have to do rechargeable, which I think is really nice. So this one, I bought the, like, charger pack that came with this. So on my desk, it sits like this. And I think that's very cute. But the back was just white, so I spray painted that. But it has this um, rechargeable battery came with this from the Xbox store. And the Elite does not even have a back plate that you can take off. Yeah, there's just three dots that line up with, I think it should work on this. Uh, no, no, no. Nope, it's not compatible with this. Okay, yeah, the charger's completely different. Interesting, good to know. Oh, and they're obviously both Bluetooth compatible. Yeah, so you can just charge it by plugging it in to USB-C. It's really cute. I don't know if I'd choose these colors again if I were to order another. It matches my keyboard nicely though. The pink is pretty similar. The triggers are very different. I kind of like that more. Yeah, so the elite triggers don't go in as far and they're more clicky. You can hear that. These ones don't click at all. They're more mushy. That's interesting. The bumpers are about the same. Okay, so after tinkering around a little bit with these two controllers, I have figured out the main differences that I've noticed. There's a big price difference. The um, lower end one is $60 base starting price, and then the Elite is $150 starting price. Um, the main difference between how it feels is the rubberized grips and the clickiness of the trigger. Um, there's a lot more customization options for the Elite, such as the buttons. You can customize what color they are. Same with these. You can customize the color of these three buttons in the middle and the rings around the D-pads, which you can't customize any of those for this. They also have the option of buying um, interchangeable thumbsticks um, for the Elite one, and that is not an option for the base Xbox controller model. So that is my unboxing and quick comparison between the two versions of the Xbox Color Labs controllers that you can purchase at the moment. If I only had to buy one, I would right now buy the base model. Um, I like the customization options more and except for I do wish that they would add option to customize buttons and the AB XY buttons um, I would pay extra to do that and yeah they're both pretty cute I love them I love the way they look thanks for watching my video
<laughs> if you like content like this, let me know. I normally do Let's Play videos, but um, if there's some want for this sort of content, I will be more than happy to indulge you guys. Um, let me know in the comments down below and give me a little thumbs up and a little sub if you haven't already. Okay, bye!